welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be discussing about one of the most expensive hell events to date coming to our server even though it's supposed to be four gods so i spent like an hour or like three hours actually trying to make four gods content so that i would be ready for it tomorrow but of course it would be four storms but i can't say i'm not surprised about it so you know what i just put this together hopefully you guys enjoy it here i am going to tell you about the event breakdown i'm going to tell you about the suits i'm going to give you my honest opinions and then later on you can see whether or not i will complete this event when it comes to our server i personally don't think I'm going to complete it and that's a fact because I actually don't have enough diamonds to complete it but I'm going to just make peace with that and why don't we just look at each one of the suits to see whether or not they're kind of worth your money but yeah let's get started so for the event format it's going to cost around 4,000 to 5,000 diamonds on average per suit ranging from the lowest of 3,500 diamonds to 6,000 diamonds it's going to be 100 diamonds per pull and the average cost to complete this whole event which includes the 2d suit is going to be 28,800 diamonds it's so expensive what in the world and then the event format is going to be apparently similar to four dreams where there is going to be a pavilion for each suit but there's not going to be a suit that's going to need to be unlocked so remember for bobo suit you have to go to each one of the other pavilions in order to get enough currency so that you can unlock bobo's suit so we don't have that in this case but doesn't matter because this event is still going to be expensive and credits to anna1604 for putting all this information together on the reddit page i was able to just use the information and then i put it in my own infographic style but yeah so the first suit is going to be a gata suit. I'm just pronouncing it this way because I need to make a pun later. And then this suit is actually really pretty. I think out of the suits, this might be my favorite. And it's going to come with a new makeup, a new skin, a foxtail, an animated accessory, and two movable accessories. I don't know what it means by a new skin. I wasn't looking too deep into this because I didn't do my research for this hell event yet, but we will see. And this suit was inspired by the NPC Agata, and I decided that it would be really fun if I were to make a pun for each one of the NPC suits. So for this one, oh my god, I can't even say it out loud because I'm so embarrassed. But it's like, I gotta get this suit. <laughs> I hate this. Okay, so here's a close-up of her. She looks stunning. And oh, you know what? I think I kind of remember something about her skin being maybe glittery or glistening. I could be totally wrong because I can't see any other difference with the skin tone besides that her thighs kind of glitter. And then that might be just part of her outfit. I really like the background item because it is humongous and I feel like you could do a lot of things with it, obviously. And I just really like any ice type or water type suits. Kind of like Pokemons. Like those are my favorite Pokemons, by the way. <laughs> and then for the chair, it's like a throne chair stair thing. And you could just use it as a huge platform, if anything, in the Starry Corridor. So 10 out of 10. As for the next suit, it's Yvette's suit, and it's going to come with a dress pose, a new makeup, an animated hair accessory, two movable accessories, and the background will be awarded upon suit completion. So for this one, the literally only thing I like about this outfit is the hair. Everything else is kind of just too holy for me. I don't have any problem with religion, but like that's definitely not my aesthetic, and I don't want to waste any diamonds completing something that I don't use. So, <clears throat> Yvette, if I don't get it, I'll be okay. Did you notice that Yvette had green eyes? Huh. Okay, so um, here is the suit. I feel like it's just like a mishmash of a lot of things. Like there's so many things going on. She is long like Nikki. So instead of like daddy long, like she'd be like mommy long legs. There is just so much going on. Like at first I didn't realize that those were roses that were kind of coming out of the fires but like why is a rose on fire i thought it was actually kind of meteor so i was very confused and then the color palette just seemed everywhere on top of the rainbow little halo on her like <sighs> i don't know and the makeup's just very plain overall i don't really feel that it works out and there's just like this weird red dot that's dripping on her face and then she has like this very vacant expression that looks not fun at all and she's holding this heart thing that's kind of like a gemstone but the color doesn't really match anything else in this outfit and there's also like a purple background item which is also very weird because it's like purple 
red, green, yellow, white, like choose a palette, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky. But for this one, I don't like it. As for the next suit, we have Shade Suit. It's going to come with a dress pose, a new makeup, wings, a movable accessory, and the background will be awarded upon suit completion. So this suit is inspired by Shade and no shade. This suit is just super not unique. I feel like it's just the same as every other Rockstar suit we've had that is red and black. And then this hair is so similar to the hairs from like the, what is it called? The Miracle of Melody, the Melody of Miracle, something like that. The other hell event that was kind of irrelevant, but yeah, like she is a spider. I feel like if she had white highlights, that would be lit. Cause I felt like if it was black and white, it would have a huge like spider-like theme going on. But you know, to be fair, she could look like the Black Widow spider. So eh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really a fan of this suit. I am a little bit of a fan of her hair and makeup, even though I just trashed on it. But you know, like if I were to look at the good points of the suit objectively and ignore every other suit we've ever had, I feel like I would be okay with having this. Next, we have the Ming Shui Yan suit. It comes with a dress pose, a new makeup, a new skin, which I am also confused about because it's like, what new skin? Please enlighten me in the comments below. A fox tail and an animated accessory and two movable accessories. The background again will be awarded upon suit completion. For this one, I was thinking it's like, you shouldn't be. <laughs> Forcing yourself to get this suit. Oh my god, I can't. Like this was actually really hard. <laughs> I hate this. Um, this is the suit in its glory. She has the most awkward positioning I've ever seen in one of the Love Nikki poses. I can't say I'm a fan of her, but she does look like a mermaid, if anything. But she's supposed to be a fox suit, so I'm a little confused. The part where I think that she looks like a mermaid is probably because she looks like she has scales on her dress. And then the fact that she's in that position, she kind of looks like a fish, and everything looks like a fish. If I were to look at it, like fox wouldn't be the first animal I would think of. Okay, let's zoom in on her makeup. Her makeup is actually kind of pretty. It's like gold, and then she has blue eyebrows, which is kind of neat, even though it doesn't match her hair. I wonder how she would look like if she had the same color, like turquoise blue hair. But I think it's kind of nicer that it's white because the blue just acts as an accent now, and it's prettier like this. And there is more of a consistent palette compared to Yvette's suit. Overall, I think it would rank second in terms of my favorite out of all of the four suits. We have a 2D suit that is next. I think this is one of the better looking 2D suits, but I don't really find myself wanting any 2D suits because they're incredibly expensive. It's so out of my budget range, and I rarely see anybody use a 2D suit in general because it's the entire pose. And all I can say is that I am okay to not get this suit, but overall, you have to complete the entire suit to unlock its pose and the live 2D motion effects. And last but not least, we have the minor suits, and I know a lot of you guys love minor suits, so of course I will be posting them here. My favorite one is the one in the center because of like the starry galaxy aspects. I just typically like the fantasy space water theme, so that's definitely up my alley. The chess girls on the left, eh, okay. And then the koi fish girls, like I'm just making up names for them. Honestly, the ones on the right kind of remind me of the welfare suit we have right now. And, and by the way, today's the last day of the welfare event, so be sure to finish it if you haven't already. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on whether you will be spending on this event, whether you will be skipping it, what your favorite suits are, because my favorite suit so far is Agatha suit. I feel like that's such an awkward name to have, like Agatha, Agatha, because it's not like Agath, Agatha, but it's like Agatha. Uh, yeah, okay, so Agatha suit. Then we have Ming Shui Yan suit. Again, probably butchered her name. Then we have Shade suit, and then probably last I'd put Yvette suit. But yeah, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this type of video, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye!